Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to take a look at using some of those Baofeng Chinese radios. They're about $25 a piece when you buy them in two or three or something like that, which we did around here. But anyway, what I did with one was I took GMRS repeater frequencies. I put them in it put it in the scan mode on the channels and marked off what I heard on and then I knew what channels I could concentrate on and it gives me a good first cut for having a really cheap scanner and that's what that $25 Baofeng radio is really good at. It's a really good scanner. It's very broadband, 2 meters commercial in between, 440 higher that you can put in and scan through and find out what frequencies you're going to be interested in. So here we go. I took those GMPR frequencies. I put them into the Baofeng and here it is scanning away on those particular frequencies and stopping when it hits a repeater. Now I did the same thing with some other frequencies we're going to cover that so stay tuned as we have a bit more scanning fun with these cheap Chinese radios. We'd like to ask that you please subscribe, hit the like button, and the notify to stay current with our content. Thank you. As another example, I have this radio here which is scanning through a bunch of frequencies for fire, EMS, school buses, railroads, and other stuff. And it's pretty much a direct clone of the unit in SDS 200. What I did was I put a GoPro camera on the face of the uh, unit in scanner while it was going through the frequencies. I wrote down all the ones that it showed up, you know, like 157.31. And then I would go and bring them up and listen to them and find out what they were and transfer them those that were interesting onto the Baofeng scanner and so it's a really nice scanner for listening to the school buses in the neighborhood and everything else so I just want to pass that along to you so that's use number two for one of these little cheap Chinese radios Now here's one of the uh, Baofeng tri-band radios and I'm using it to monitor the two frequencies that we have for 220 in the uh, Cincinnati area and from my back porch on 5 watts I can hit 120 miles away. So there you go that's use number three for just monitoring a specific frequency and again this was on the tri-band Baofeng radio. Now on this particular radio, I'm scanning a bunch of commercial frequencies and some marine frequencies to see what might be active in the area. I'm pretty far away from the Ohio River, about 15 miles. They may not make it with the curves and the hills around the Ohio River. So we're going to check out the marine frequencies and some other commercial uh, numbers and see if they're interested in putting into the scanner. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There are some little cheap Chinese radios and some Yezus and some other radios that I use in my scanning. And my methodology is pretty much all the same. I'll go research some frequencies. I'll put them in one of those scanners. And I'll keep track of what I have in what scanner. And I'll keep notes on what I hear and what to keep and what to get rid of. So, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you found that all useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day having fun at your house.